Today I'd like to talk about the most time efficient, cost efficient ways to shop for catamarans. And one thing I see over and over are people who are looking at boats beyond their budget. So like that catamaran behind me there, that's about a 250 foot power cat uh, built by NCAT. And so they dream about having a real big boat, but they really don't have the means to afford that. So the best thing you can do to not waste time is to set a budget. And if you don't have the cash to pay for a boat, the best thing you can do is get pre-qualified for a loan. And for Americans, you want to get pre-qualified with one of the lenders, one of the few lenders that will do foreign loans. And those are defined as loans for vessels lying offshore, outside U.S. waters. Because out of around 18 marine lenders in America, only three will do loans on vessels lying outside U.S. waters. So. The best thing you can do then is get pre-qualified. It lasts six months and then you can easily renew it for another six months. And then you know what you have to work with. The next step I recommend is to come to say Fort Lauderdale where I am right now. And we usually have a pretty good supply of catamarans to look at here. And to go, come with me for one day, I'll set up as many different possible models that sort of fit the budget. As we can see in one day, I'll show you the bad and the good about each model. And by the end of the day, you and your significant other will know, will narrow it down to between one and two models. And once you've done that, it's easy because then I know how to find the best deals in the world for that particular model. And then once we find the best deal, what we do is we try and ascertain the true condition of the boat because some local agents tend to not talk about the bad parts, you know, they'll they'll fluff it up and they'll you know, it's, expound on all the wonderful things but they won't tell you the truth and so uh, I will get to the bottom of that and figure out well what's real what do we really have here and you must remember that when you're talking about older boats that is you know six seven years and older you know boats because they're in a harsh environment of salt water salt in the air it tends to corrode the systems very quickly at some point and you know they turn into the dreaded money pits which I'll talk about in another video but you don't want a money pit because you can't control your costs and it's very difficult to impossible to know what it's going to cost you to make that boat ready to go for your needs and to be insurable and safe because the worst thing about money pits is being unsafe and unreliable. So once we determine the best model that fits your budget, I will then search the world, I'll find the perfect boat, and many times it's not in the US. Well, why? Okay, that's because we have a supply demand imbalance here that is not similar to what you find in the Caribbean or other markets. So there's many more buyers here chasing fewer boats. And that means, well, it creates much higher prices. So, you know, when you go to sell, but yeah, bring it to South Florida, sell it here, because this is where we see higher prices than in the remote areas. And one way to just illustrate this is to realize that in South Florida here, if I have a hot listing, and I define a hot listing as any 38 to 48 foot catamaran owner version less than 4,000 hours maximum five six years old that boat will get shown 20 30 times a month because there's so many buyers here it's very easy for buyers from all over the US and Canada to get here but that same boat sitting you know in Belize or 
Grenada or Martinique, they'll be lucky if they have a buyer every two to four months looking at it. So this creates the supply-demand imbalances that create buying opportunities where you can save easy fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars on a two hundred and fifty, three hundred thousand dollar yacht. So this is where you want to be able to buy. And that's why you want to be pre-qualified if you're getting a loan for foreign loans. Those loans for boats based offshore. Alright, so let's say we find uh, your ideal yacht and you know, I know pretty much everybody in the business and I know who sort of fluffs the listings up and who doesn't, who tells the truth. And so in some cases where we're not really sure about the real condition, we might get a mini survey done. And, but if it's a truly hot listing, it, these boats can go under contract right away because it's a worldwide market. You know, there are a lot of eyes looking at those listings and they can disappear really fast. So the best thing to do is gain a first option and I can show you how I've done another video on that and then that buys us some time. It gives us usually three weeks of time where nobody else can buy the boat and you know you can get out of the deal for any reason you know just reject the vessel you get your deposit back no further liabilities but one thing we can do when we're unsure of the real condition of the boat is to do a mini survey. And that's where we get a certified surveyor, an independent third party expert who goes there and writes a short report, it's usually one or two pages, or he'll brief you on the phone and answer all your questions. They usually take up to 100 photos and they will get to the bottom of what we really have here. And then we know. And then it's worth buying airfare and reserving hotels and ground transportation, which can get expensive. And you know, I've seen, I saw a video of another, uh, a buyer who I think they had like four different boats under contract. They must have spent 20, 25,000 bucks traveling around when they could have just had so many surveys and they, we would have known what we had before wasting all that money. So I think this is the smart way to do it. And when we determine that we have a good boat at a good price, and we have a first option on it, then we plan the survey sea trial. It usually takes place in one day. Usually takes about eight hours of that day and by the end of that day of the sea trial and survey, we get the surveyor and only hire certified surveyors. And remember, if you're getting a loan, you're going to need a surveyor that complies with the lender's requirements. So an American lender will require SAMS, the Society of American Marine Surveyors, or NAMS, certified surveyors, and they won't take any other. So we need to remember that and arrange that so you don't have a problem later and have to get another survey. Because surveys right now are running between $20 and $30 a foot. So let's say we get $20 a foot. 40 foot boat, that's 800 bucks for the survey. Buyer has to pay for the haul out and that varies widely depending on where you are. Because if you're on a Caribbean island that has like one shipyard, you know, they know they can get away with charging a high price like for a 40 foot boat, it could be as high as $600 to do what we call a short haul. And that means the boat gets hauled out for one hour the surveyor sounds the hull and does all his inspections and it sounds like a lot of money but you know there's the cost of real estate and buying the travel lift and having all those employees there and workman's comp and all that stuff you know it adds up so that's why it costs so much and so at the end of that day I get the surveyor to brief us and give us a summary of findings and what we're after is you know what are the defects and I also tell them in the beginning of the day that you know if he finds anything that's going to cost more than a couple thousand to fix we need to know about it and talk about it right then and there because I will then go to the yard estimator and get a price to fix that so that we know okay at the end of the day we've got 15 defects 10 are minor 5 we're going to cost you know between 1 and 3,000 each and so you know and th and if they weren't previously disclosed by the seller well you probably have grounds to renegotiate the price unless it's just an old 
beater that you know they said now you know look I'm discounting the price for you and you know don't expect further price reductions because this ain't a new boat and if you want a perfect new boat well you know you can go pay three times the price over here and get the new new boat but you know I'm discounting the price to compensate for those defects that we know that you're gonna find all right so at the end of the day we know what we have and, and after that point you can either accept or reject the boat or accept it with conditions. So for example, let's say there's a bent rudder post that the seller didn't even know about that we discovered at haul out and it's gonna cost $2,000 to fix because I went and asked the yard estimator and then that we can say something like, okay, uh, we'll take the bow, we like the bow, but you didn't tell us about that bent rudder post which is gonna be $2,000 to fix so we want 2000 off the price and most reasonable sellers will work with you and allow for a discount to cover these unforeseen undisclosed defects all right so then once we have accepted the vessel we make plans for closing and typically that takes eh, 7 to 14 days it depends on the flag of the vessel french flag vessels take a little longer because they're more documents required in the closing process and more steps uh, US flag is very quick and easy um, Dutch flag quick German flag not so quick and so well I can talk to you more about those details at the right time and also between the time we accept the vessel and closing comes we should shop really hard for insurance it really pays to shop 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 because the rates are all over the place you might get a rate that's three times the rate of another good A-rated company, so you got to shop. And I can help with all of the parts of the process after that, such as registration, taxes. I can help anybody be totally legally tax exempt, and I've talked about that in other videos, and I'm happy to go over that with you. And that's pretty much it. So if you have questions about the most time efficient, cost efficient ways to buy a yacht, just give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Uh, my website is largecatamaransforsale.com and uh, I look forward to working with you. Smooth sailing.